friends, and welcome back to Cooking with Potatoes, except there's only one of me, and I don't look that terrible today. Okay, so today, we are making, or I am making, and you're watching me make, chicken pot pie, which I have never made before. First thing we need is flour and salt. I guarantee that I am probably going to forget at least one thing to double. So far, this is going swimmingly. Of course, I didn't really do anything, so that's not very surprising. Now we need to cut butter into the flour. Well, that's a lot of butter. So this is how much we're not using, and this is how much we are using. Does anyone else like really dislike touching butter? Or is it just me? It's probably just me. That's nice. I'm pretty sure this is what you're supposed to use to cut in butter. I just realized that it said make two batches of pastry instead of double the batch of the pastry. And I wonder if doubling it results in some kind of humongous tragedy. Well, I would consider that course crummy enough. Well, there's six tablespoons of water, but it has to be ice water. All right, I have retrieved ice. So I was kind of confused. I was like, am I supposed to use an electric mixer or am I supposed to use a whisk? I don't know. And then I realized this is an Amish cookbook. It's not going to ever suggest. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we are clean out of farm fresh butt nuggets. So we need to use store fresh as in questionable butt nuggets. Ugh. Look at how sick and sad it looks. Also, I got some shell in it. Okay, let's just open. We can put the not so fresh butt nuggets away. Oh, would you look at that? I came back with a whisk. Isn't that fancy? It's the egg cam. I am starting to question everything regarding my um, coarse crumbs, so. Wait, what? You guys. Yeah, that's a problem. What happens if I don't do that? Lightly stir until do forms. Light, light, light. I often over stir things, but I've never experienced terrible things from it. So yeah. Now I'm supposed to form it in a disc and put it in plastic wrap. Since I'm making two recipes, do I make two discs? I would say so. Cling wrap. It's so clingy, you'd think it was your girlfriend. I have a feeling this is going to go horribly. So here we go. <gasps> yeah, okay, so I don't think my camera likes that angle very much. I'm starting to regret my technique for this. This looks horrible. Mmm, delicious. That's a piece of butter. This is such a tragedy. There we have one sad lump of dough. Let's divide and conquer. There we have one disc. There's our second disc. Nothing like a nice Pringle snack. So the recipe asks for two cups of vegetables. I've chosen to do carrots, corn, and peas. I'm just cutting up my carrots right now. I thought you thought those taste like cardboard. All right, so now we're just spraying my frozen peas and frozen corn with hot water. What a shock that if you heat up frozen things, they thaw. Our carrots are ready to go. Now we just need to cook them. Okay, friends, we are making the filling now.
Oh, oh, my carrots are cooking. Add onion. Delicious. This nice butter and onion experience going on here. That's just the kind of soup you want to feed your children. Oh, my carrots. We have our onion. Next, we have our frozen chicken broth, our nice carrots. And we also have our not so frozen anymore peas and corn edition. Carrots are not done, but they're kind of done. I don't really know how to determine how onions are tender anyway. What does that even mean? That's probably good. Here's what we're looking like. Doesn't look very appetizing, but that's that. I think time might be of the essence right now. What are we adding here? Broth and milk. Oh no, our broth is only half done. All right, so now I am adding two and a half cups of chicken. There's one, there's two, and there's a half. Our sauce thingy is almost done, and then we're gonna add the vegetables and chicken, and then we're going to check on our demented pie crust and see how that's doing. That's what that looks like now, and there's our lovely. Okay, friends, now is the moment of truth. Okay, that is boiling. That is a problem. Ah. Oh, wow. That's fabulous. Time to check on the crust. There it sits, looking exactly the same as before. It's been almost a <laughs> This is where we are going to do magic. This is the rolling pin. And this used to be my sister's sock. Right now, we are lightly flowering the surface. Like now, it looks sad. I feel like I'm too weak to do this. Let's see. Ooh, this is looking like a uh, weird looking island. Oh dear, it's sticking. Dude, it's actually kind of decent. Okay, let's do the other one. We have a problem. Oh no. I feel like a failure right now. Okay, I'm going to put my stuff in there now. So this is like the moment of truth. Just glob that in there. So that actually looks like edible. I'm gonna do something snazzy. I have no idea what I'm doing, just so you know. So here it is in all of its glory. Da 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 There it is in all of its glory. I feel like a paparazzi cameraman. There it is, walking to its dressing room. Oh, never before seen footage. Thank you guys so much for watching me fail at cooking. Well, kind of fail. Obviously the result was scrumptious, but if you enjoy watching me cook and do stuff like that, be sure to give this video a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Nobody knows that I don't know anything.